Hey guys, it's Kina. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are making waffles. I guess it's a way you can bake. Hey guys, so I haven't had breakfast yet, which is why I'm very excited to get started on today's recipe. But before we get started, I'd like to ask you guys to please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already done so and you've been watching the videos, please hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell. It really does help the crazy YouTube algorithm so that other people can see these recipes and they can learn how to cook with cannabis as well. So I really appreciate if you could do that and then we'll just get into the recipe. So I have to give a disclaimer. These are pumpkin spice waffles, I know. I've been doing a lot of pumpkin. It's fall, it feels good, but I promise, this is the last, I think, <laughs> pumpkin recipe of the season. But I just think it's super festive, and now, you know, who doesn't like a little pumpkin? Like yesterday, I was really craving a pumpkin spice latte, so I made like a keto one here at home. So I promise, this is probably the last pumpkin recipe, so bear with me. I promise it's gonna be delicious. I promise it's gonna be medicated. So just follow along for the ride. Now, the ingredients we need for the recipe um, are obviously our dry ingredients, and I've put them all in this one bowl just because there's a bunch of little stuff. So in here, I've got flour, baking powder, brown sugar, I mean, then pumpkin pie spice, which, you know, you gotta use that. And if you don't have pumpkin spice on, I mean, yeah, pumpkin pie spice on hand, you can totally kind of make your own with ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, that kind of thing. Um, but if you want things to be kind of quick and easy, which I love, then go ahead and get you some pumpkin pie spice. Um, and that's all that's in here for the dry ingredients. Now the rest of the ingredients are pumpkin puree, eggs, cannabis butter melted, and milk. Okay, so we're going to jump right into it by getting the dry ingredients nice and mixed together. You all know I am too impatient and, yeah, just impatient. I wouldn't say lazy, but too impatient to sift. <laughs> so and you can do this too. If you want to sift the ingredients into the bowl, totally up to you. I'm just going to use um, my whisk here and just get it mixed up um, just so that it's not all lumpy. And um, really that brown sugar, because it's packed, we want to get that like nice and blended into the flour mixture. Good. So I'm going to set this to the side and then we're going to work on the wet ingredients. So for the first of the wet ingredients, we're going to be doing the pumpkin puree, the milk, and um, just the egg yolks. So we're going to separate those eggs that we talked about at the beginning um, into yolks and whites. And I'll have my whites already over there in the stand mixer because you're going to need to whip them up until they're kind of white um, and they have the little soft peaks in them. So that's why that's over there and I have the yolks um, here. So we're just going to put all those things here in the bowl um, and that'll be it for that part. Okay, that looks pretty well blended. It's nice and smooth. So now we're gonna add the butter, which we said this is our uh, melted cannabis butter. So I just have it in a little tiny measuring cup here. And once that's in there, then we're gonna add the dry ingredients, which were just, you know, like I said, all those spices, the brown sugar and um, the flour, and I'm missing something, baking powder. So yeah, we're just gonna pour this. I always like to whisk while I'm pouring um, like a fat or pretty much any liquid ingredient into an already prepared um, liquid ingredient just because I find that sometimes if you just leave it there it'll just sit on top um, and it's a little bit more difficult to get it incorporated so that's why I just like to you know be, keep it stirring keep the mixture moving um, while I'm adding that cannabis butter to it and then now like I said we're going to add that uh, flour mixture Thank you. 
Now, if you're not doing this in the stand mixer like I normally do, and you're doing it in a bowl like this, just be a little bit careful so that your flour doesn't fly everywhere and it gives you that kind of uh, white face where you get uh, flour all over the place. Uh, so just be careful when you're doing that. Just kind of be patient with it, um, get in as much as possible. So I'm just trying to really get that flour in it. It's getting like super thick so it's harder to stir it. I think I might actually um, grab maybe a spatula or something like that because like I said, once it gets thick, then you see how it's all stuck in the spatula and I really hate that. And I didn't grab my metal spatula, which would have been a little bit easier to control than this uh, plastic one. Um, so yeah, let's kind of keep stirring until it's as smooth as you can get it. Um, and then we'll add those uh, egg whites that we talked about. Okay, so I got the two egg whites nice and whipped up. It's crazy how much just two egg whites makes. Can you guys see that? That is crazy. Like how much that makes um, when you start to whip it up. So we've added air to that. And now we're gonna just fold these egg whites into that batter. So you wanna kinda do this a little bit at a time, maybe in three parts. So just like scoop, you know, maybe a third of it into the bowl. And then we're just gonna kind of fold it gently. Now, as you know, egg whites, when you whip them, can be very uh, gentle, kind of um, fragile, I guess is the better word. And you wanna really just fold them really gently with a, um, a spatula like this one. So that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna fold this in. And then once it looks pretty good, then we'll fold like another third and we'll keep going until we're out, we're out of uh, egg whites. And the purpose for folding um, whipped egg whites into um, any batter is to make um, the end product lighter and fluffier. When you add that air into the egg whites, um, it'll kind of add that air to the product that you're making for the end. So we had just put them in there as whole eggs, or even if we had put them in there separately, we wouldn't have got gotten that same fluffy mixture. We would have maybe a, a denser waffle. And some people like that, um, a little bit more heavy, but I like a light and fluffy pancake waffle, all those things. So that's why we really take our time with this part. And, um, and folding in those fluffed egg whites because we want them to be light and fluffy. So I got one more bit to get in here and then we'll basically get it into um, the waffle line. Okay, so now I've got um, all the egg whites in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put um, the batter in our waffle iron. Now, I couldn't find my um, regular size waffle iron. I don't know where it is around here. So I went ahead um, and I just grabbed the mini waffle maker. Now, it really doesn't change too much because as, as you know, you need to follow your waffle maker's um, uh, instructions when you're making it. So now that we've gotten to this part, it's really up to the waffle maker that you have. So, but what I will say, is that if you're making full waffles, use about maybe a quarter to half a cup, but also, like I said, follow the instructions on your waffle maker. But about a quarter to a half a cup um, is enough batter to make a good, nice, fluffy um, waffle. You said these are mini, so I'm gonna kind of have to um, adjust. And I probably use like half a scoop, because you guys know it's already in the bowl. <laughs> my ice cream scooper like I like to keep it clean and neat and easy so I'm gonna be using my ice cream scooper but I'm probably on only gonna be putting like half a scoop into each little circle um it's already getting a little bit smoky in here um because I just don't want to you know overdo it and then have it kind of oozing out of the sides and that may be entertaining but it'll be messy and kind of defeats the purpose of trying to keep it clean while we're cooking so that's what I'm gonna do now. Is to get that half a cup of batter. I mean, I'm sorry, not half a cup. Half a ice cream scoop, which is gonna be, I guess, like an eighth of a cup or two tablespoons um, if you're using a mini like I am. So I'm just gonna, ooh, see, it's already smoking. So I'm just gonna get, cause we got hot fast. I'm gonna put this in here. Okay, it seems 
reviews real steamy so i think i'm gonna go ahead and check and see if they're ready the light is green like i said follow your instructions but usually somewhere between two to four minutes okay so these are ready we're gonna some of them got stuck here at the top <laughs> but and be careful i have mom hands so i just grab anything be careful you know use a spatula or a fork or um, some tongs or something but I'm just gonna grab them right off so do not try this at home is basically my point so we're just gonna pop these off they look so beautiful and they smell so good all that cinnamon and nutmeg and ginger so we're gonna pop these off our little minis they look pretty all right so yeah there they are so I'm gonna clear this off and unplug it um so that we can go ahead and try them um because i mean that's the whole point and i want to get them while they're still warm okay so it's time now i made up a little bit of warm cinnamon maple syrup that's literally just whatever maple syrup you like with a little bit of cinnamon in it you're gonna stir it in you're gonna warm it up because obviously warm syrup tastes amazing and it's the point where you can kind of do what you want to do you can do um powdered sugar you can do whipped cream you can do cinnamon and then you can do syrup so for in my case for today i'm going to be using this cinnamon maple syrup so I'm just going to get this on here, grab a knife, and so get this on here, and then we are going to taste. Okay, let's dig in here. Let's see what we got. I don't want to use too much syrup because I don't want it to overpower the pumpkin and all that spice that we put in there. So let's see. Mmm. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -mm -mm. That is a good grand finale of pumpkin spice season. <laughs> that is so, so good. And what I love about these pumpkin recipes is pumpkin is not super strong, so it doesn't like overpower the recipe, but it's a nice little touch, just a nice warm fall um, touch. So, you know, if you enjoy making breakfast. I think we only make breakfast on the weekends. So enjoy your weekend. Have a wonderful wake and bake and try this. I think it's really yummy. Now, if you do try it, as always, I ask you, let me know, let me see. So tag me over on Instagram or even on Twitter. I'm on Twitter, I'm at, um, at my antidote TV, but over on Instagram, it's the same thing for the show. But if you want to tag me, it's at Dine and Flash. That's Dine underscore and underscore flash um so i can see what you guys are doing and i would love to see how it turned out for you could you find your real size <laughs> waffle maker because i have no maybe my son stole it maybe he took it to college i don't know but but yeah let me know um how you like this recipe if you love pumpkin spice recipes are you sick and tired of pumpkin spice recipes at this point let me know down in the comments guys as i asked before please subscribe to the channel consider sharing this with someone who um, wants to learn or loves cannabis cooking and until next time i will see y'all later have a great day and a great week bye guys